what is up guys from course welcome to our team analysis against of course Denki or Sam Lewis uh, Sableyes or basically the other Scandinavian in TBU with Dan now I'm doing a bit of a lazy kind of upload this time around not with the Viking runner like that don't worry about it guys he will be there for the end video but uh, due to Pokemon Go and uh, well I'm having semester uh, I am a bit busy, or rather a bit lazy, um, Pokemon Go and uh, the semester is pretty much consuming my life, and I'm doing this um, as well as I can, and since the battle wasn't showdown anyway, it made kind of sense of use it like this and actually try to explain you guys what I'm going for, and as you guys see on the right side here, this is the team we are facing, we're facing Mega Odino, Thunder Side, Greninja, Ember, Hunch, Crow, Hitman, Top, Salamence, Yarados, and Red G Rock. Actually, a lot of these mods are really, really good. Like, two Intimidators are actually really nice. Actually, even three Salmons, Hitmon Top, and uh, Gyarados. So, with Dan in my, or actually Salmons, I'm, 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 I, I love that I'm just, you know, just going at it, basically, and <laughs> trying to figure things out as we go. As we go. Now, here's the thing. Uh, since I have three Intimidators, there are no reason for me of having uh, a physical attacker, at least not in that environment. It's too pressured, really. Uh, outside of stuff, as you guys can see, which are part of the team, but like, guys like Drapion, for example, will not join this battle. While while Drapion would be nice, there are things here that simply push it back, and while I know Mega Odino is a big deal for me to be dealing with, not because it's intimidating, it's because it's bulky, it's hard to kill, and um, it's one of those mods, if you can't do it, kill it, it's getting kind of nasty. Um, so anyway, with that said, let's go into my first mon. Uh, I think I can do so. I'm obviously having the, you know just the best time here, really. Uh, so Gardevoir, right? As you guys can see, we have enough speed to outspeed uh, a jolly Gyarados, basically. That's pretty much the size of things here. Uh, and outspeed of no, sorry, it just outspeed um, the sorry, it just outspeed the Greninja. So it's carved in the fast enough to speak Ninja, modest. Moonblast hits his team really, really hard. Um, there's no really going on it. Without the fair resistance, uh, God of War can pretty much sweep depending on what he's having. And um, we are faster than the likes of, of course, a monstrous Hunchcrow, which would be mine, or would be worth keeping in mind. Uh, outside of that, a bit of bulk, but really that just filler uh, for this kind of battle. There is simply no way for me of. Uh, you know, playing this thing smarter. We have Trace basically to, uh, I, I don't know why, it's basically like to snag Intimidate basically. And I have Moonlast Thunderbolt because it hits his team naturally. Uh, Will-O-Wisp if, if there is a reason to work on it and Healing Wish. It's a suicide Pokemon but it, it has a clear purpose and uh, that is really what I'm going for. Follow that up by Fulf or Stoutland. Uh, bulky Southland, and when I say bulky, I mean bulky. Uh, Impish would, of course, in, enough HP and uh, defense to actually survive a plus one waterfall from Jardos. But it can also deal with if the um, Ember is scarfed, then Superpower will not do over 50%. Uh, there are a few things this mod can threaten out, and uh, it has Ice Fang for Salamence. Uh, Thunder Wave for any Dragon Dance and Shenanigans. I really like Southland with Thunder Wave. Uh, it definitely one of those mods can survive and, uh, a situation and then retaliate with Thunder Wave and then hit him afterwards. Um, nothing big to it. Like, Stoutland is just a very, very straightforward mod for this battle. And I'm forced to use it due to viewer picks, which is not half bad. Stoutland is actually really nice. Uh, I rarely use it as a, of a defensive mod, but it can't do that well if you know what you're doing. And clearly, I am somewhat. <laughs> All right, never mind. Thunderous. <laughs> and this mod is pretty much straightforward. There is really nothing too big here. We have Thunderbolt, Tin and Power Ice, Sludge Wave, and Substitute. Substitute is basically there for the mods that I can fret out. I had Agility there first, but really there are no reasons for it. Substitute is basically there for Sucker Punch and Hunch Crow, because Hunch Crow is actually pretty intimidating. Uh, Thunderbolt kills uh, Yardos. Ice... Or him for ice kills, uh, Jonic, <sighs> kills Salamence, Reggie Rock, while being a very, very offensive or assault as a one, could possess a big threat for Thunderous. I'm not gonna stay into that matchup. Sludge Wave is basically filler, but mostly there for Mega Audino. Because it's, it, it's one of those few mods that actually can't hurt. <laughs> Naturally, really. 
And Yasha Bird is there for his own thunderous because he's gonna have hidden power ice with this Greninja. Uh, that would be Ice Beam. If I'm put into a situation where they can hurt me, at least I can take him on with, of course, Yasha Berry and retaliate and hopefully kill them. Um, this is followed up with, of course, the monstrous Dolphin. And I was considering Rapid Spin because it does have two mods that can set up rocks. Um, no, one. But um, the more I thought about it, the more it told me that I'm using two mounts that are weak to rocks, and they are not necessarily that bulky in the first place. It doesn't necessarily matter if you get rocks up from my side. And outside of Greninja, you can have toxic spikes and spikes, and if that's the case, then so be it. Uh, having sturdy stealth rock, the, pretty much the thing is here, if I don't see Hitmon top on the team, I I'm going to go for, um, for Donphan as a suicide lead. Basically get up rocks because, um, well, if Salamence has a defogger, then at least I can damage that. But I pretty much am sure to I can preserve rocks naturally for a long time for this battle, depending on which mods it brings. Like I said, if it brings somewhat of a defensive team, then that's not the case. And of course, Ice Shard is basically for Salamence. Salamence is annoying for me to deal with. Uh, having Ice Shard puts it at least at a 50% area, so hopefully I can work something out with that in mind. And Stonish is there as a filler. Uh, it works for Embor if I have to. It works for Hunscrow if I have to. It works for Jardos if I have to. And it works for Thunderous if I have to. Actually, I'll, I'll probably Earthquake if I face an Embor, but I'm just going to have that said. Uh, follow that up with Sceptile. And yeah, nothing special here either. I was considering substitute on this guy too. Really, really need Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm sadly does a lot of damage to. A few mods on his team, so having that is helpful. Aside of that, we have Giga Rain, Drag Bulls, Jordic, the hell out of me. You know, one would think with Semester that, you know, I figured out that I could sleep, but I, I did not. Um, anyway, um, nothing really, like I said, big here. Hidden Power Electric is definitely there for Jardos. If Jardos is. Um, <laughs> if Jardos is special defensive, we can actually take a Hidden Power Electric. That kind of blew my mind. But aside of that, they shouldn't be able to. And we have enough speed here to win Timid, enough speed to outspeed uh, Adam and Jardos. So he's forced to be jolly if he wants to outspeed. That's that. Like, Sceptile is very, very simple to use in this format. Very straightforward. A bit of a mixed bag. Been quite satisfied so far with it. But, you know, it had its moments, it had its fails. Mostly fails, sadly. Uh, last one is Volcanion, and it's basically because the other one does not work. Uh, the matchup is just simply not there. We have Steam Eruption, Hidden Power Ice, and Sludge Bomb. That hits pretty much neutrally from the Solid Steam. Um, Hidden Power Ice is there for Salamence. Like, that's, that's, that's something to have to deal with. And the Sludge Bomb is there to hit Odino, definitely, but also ensure that the ones that resist Steam Eruption does not resist Sludge Bomb, of course it's Jaros, for example. But yeah, it's it's a worthless filler move at this point. Will-O-Wisp is there for any Sucker Punch shenanigans and stuff like that. The, the usual stuff, really. And we have enough speed. That's if I remember. Oh. I'm really, really, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Um, we have enough speed here to have speed. Uh, Adam and um, Embora, if I can remember correctly. Um, so a lot of investment in that, but it could prove useful. Uh, if he's adamant banded, then at least I can actually fend that one out, which is kind of what I go for. If it's jolly, then you know it's not going to hurt as much, hopefully. I could be lying. Um, the team I'm bringing, seeing him bringing for me here is definitely Thunder's Eye. Greninja makes sense, Hunchcrow makes sense, Selwyn's Yardos makes sense, and Regirock. Those six are the ones I think I'm bringing. Uh, or he's going to bring, because all of them possess a big, big threat for my team. But I wouldn't mind if it brings something like Mega Odin or anything like that. Uh, and, or Embor. They're both very viable for this matchup too. So, um, yeah. I I'm feeling that we probably will lose this game. And it's mostly because I think Dan really knows how to play his team right. And it's actually a decent matchup versus me. I've been kind of cocky, but, um, you know, since the season has been kind of meh, uh, I've, I've pretty much lost, I do believe, four times in a row now. Kind of takes a toll on you. So, I hope I can turn things around, but the moment as it is, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that this is going to be a tough game. And, yeah. Gotta be honest, 
If if I don't make it, that means I don't make playoff. And if I don't, then you know that that's fine. Um, but yeah, to Dan, you know, good luck, have fun, and I'm facing him, I do believe, in the next two hours or so. So that's gonna be kind of interesting. Or you guys obviously see this on Thursday, and that video gonna go Friday to battle. Anyway, it is on showdown. And well, with that said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Support your guard chumps. Because, hell, if we win, we make playoff, which is very surprising. Anyway, thank you for, of course, watching, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.